everybody and welcome to the July 2020 layout update. Quite a lot has been done since the previous month, but before I begin, I would just like to say a big thank you to all those subscribers who keep on commenting on my videos, and also I hope you are keeping safe in these troubled times. First up today, as you're probably aware, I have revamped some parts of the line to Watford South. The station sits just here and the line runs all the way to the right of it, all the way around here, you should just be able to see it there, and then down here, and then this is the bit I had the problem with, as you can probably see I've reinforced the gradient here, I have reinforced the gradient here due to severe warping in the wood, which meant that it was completely bent in the middle, so what I had then was a steeper gradient at the bottom and a smoother gradient at the top. There is a bit of that now but it's significantly been flattened. I am still testing trains up it and getting it up to scratch. So what I did was I removed that whole section of the gradient. I had to cut the track there which wasn't the best place to cut the track since it was on a curve and I don't particularly like cutting flexible track on a curve because it bends out of control. But then, I did manage to get it back together reasonably easy. I did have to tidy up the cuts on there, because it's not very easy to cut or you've got a beam in the way. But I've got it back and working, just doing a few tests on it with the 170 over here to see if it will derail. I have also replaced some track, or well, I moved it around. So these points and the crossover, they used to be behind the camera location they should just be well they used to be down here but I found that it used to catch on the power track because I've quite a tight budget model railway I didn't really want to spend the budget on getting new straights and moving the power tracks so what I've done is I've stayed and I just moved that whole section of track with the power track round here the other power track was moved to a siding at London Eastern now this place has also been ballasted well, you can still see some bits of waiting ballasting. And what I use is I don't actually use ballast because I'm still on quite a tight budget at the moment. I use sand. A, a lot of ballast is overscale, and if you want to go cheap, just buy a thing of sand for very cheap. It doesn't look as realistic, and you do have to sometimes take some lumps out of it, but it does the job. And if it saves me £25 over the whole layout, that could be half of another train and I'm very grateful for that. I've gone over more places with sand and most of them are still awaiting some small colouring adjustments but if you don't think it look re looks realistic way I put it you can always comment in the comment section below but also I just want you to see this bit over here because this is a mixture of gauge master ballast here DCC concepts ballast I think it just starts there and sand and looks reasonable the only slight thing is is where I've been hammering you can see that some of the ballast has gone because I had to screw the board down you can probably see I've tried to put some sand over the screw although they're slightly different coloured but it's a modern railway so you have to do some things on the budget and if it doesn't look slightly right it can always be corrected when I get round to adding the final touches I think this just about brings me to the end of the video. Once again, I do thank all those subscribers who have been commenting in the comment section below. Your opinions are really welcome and they do help me gather what people think of as realistic. So if you have any feedback, please leave that in the comment section below. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Stay safe.